Hi everyone. Recently we've been looking at lots of different artists from different countries around the world. And this week we're going to head to America to meet one of America's most famous artists, a man called Andy Warhol. And Andy Warhol was a famous pop artist. And we're going to do an activity today um, just like Andy Warhol, but first let's learn about Andy Warhol himself. Andy Warhol is one of the most famous artists ever. From his paintings to his hair, he is an art legend. He had a very particular personal style. He had white hair and was usually seen wearing a lot of black leather jackets and glasses or sunglasses. Andy Warhol was called a pop artist, although his first job was actually illustrating adverts in fashion magazines. He's now one of the most famous artists who ever lived. He's famous for painting popular culture, which is anything from Coca-Cola to pop stars to the clothes people like to wear. Pop art is all about making art inspired by things from popular culture. Andy Warhol became famous for making pictures of Campbell's soup cans, a popular brand of soup in the United States of America. In fact, he loves soup so much, he once said that he ate Campbell's tomato soup every day for lunch for 20 years. He made lots of pictures of soup cans. So now we know a little bit more about Andy Warhol and we know that he loved painting soup cans. So for today's task, we're going to have a go ourselves at painting a can. So let's get ready to start. For this lesson, you're gonna to need to go to your cupboard in the kitchen and find a can of something that you like to eat at home. Once you've got your can, you're also going to need a pencil. You're gonna to to need a rubber pencil sharpener, maybe a ruler, uh, possibly a fine liner, and an assortment of coloured pencils or textures, whatever colour you're going to need for your activity. So let's get started. To draw your can, the first thing you're going to need to do is to start by drawing the shape of the can. I'm going to use a ruler for the sides, but you can just draw it with your hand if you want. Now, I'm just drawing this lightly, but, and I'm sure all your cans will be different, whatever can you're drawing at home. But whatever we draw, we're going to just sketch this out lightly first. We're going to draw in all the lines, look at all the lines, all the little details of our can. And we're gonna draw those out first. I'm gonna have a go at doing this can now. I'm gonna start by doing the big shapes, and then I'm gonna fill in the smaller details. Okay, that's pretty tricky. Now I'm gonna go around it with my highlighter pen. Okay, that was pretty tricky. Now I'm gonna rub out my lines. Okay, and now I'm gonna color it in. Make sure your pencils are really nice and sharp for this. Now the trick here is to color it in really neatly so that the colors really stand out. There we go, there's my soup can. Now, just to make it really cool, you can even try this at the end. Put a little shadow at the bottom.
So there's my picture of a, a can, not a soup can, a baked bean can, uh, inspired by the artist Andy Warhol. Um, I've made sure that I've got lots of filled in color, that it's really vibrant, um, and I've really tried hard to give it all the detail that I could see on the can. Well now, it's your turn, it's really challenging, but don't be afraid to make mistakes along the way. Don't, um, don't worry if you don't get it perfect. This is about just trying our best, looking really hard at what we can see, having a go, and just always trying to improve with our art. So give it a go, have fun, good luck.